Good morning, everyone. I'm Patrick Patrick. Today, we're going to be streaming some XTC matches that I was able to record earlier during the week. Uh, to start right out of the gate, we're going to have... Uh, I mean, my co-host isn't here. I got... I You know, I recorded these lists specifically for him because both games are going to have bombers in them. Uh, we already have... And uh, I'm sorry, it's Pazaz, I think. Uh, from LT, and then Finley Stewart from Scotland, which, again, I did for my co-host because he is the most Scottish of Scottish that I know uh, without actually being from Scotland. But we have a amazing match coming up. I mean, I see. I wish I could bring... I wish I prepared for this, but we can go back to the idle screen real quick. We've got six bombers versus the first order. We've got some Typhos, Kylo Ren, and then a first order provocateur instead of like you know halo or was it hollow or halo whatever whatever his uh oop, no yeah there we go so we've got the bombers with ion missiles thread tracers thermal debts it's you know it's going to be a very bad day for aces and then we do have of course like a very slim list kylo ren with no upgrades the first order product provocateur with just daredevil and the Zetas with the concussion missiles and passive sensors, which normally I'd see those in a five per, uh, a five ship swarm, but you know, uh, Scotland decided to go with a four ship, like one ace and then three, <laughs> three, you know, I uh, two missile boats and then uh, you know a nice little, uh, a nice little initiative three ace, I guess, uh, just to, to balance out the points. It's two hundred versus one ninety nine. So, I mean, we're going to get started right away because, you know, it's the 4th of July today. Uh, we we got places to be, and it is a national holiday for us. So, here we go. We're going to get right into the X-Wing. And there you go. As you can see, we've got the bombers, of course, setting up in a formation bottom left. And then we have the aces spread out and the missile boats in the middle. Uh, I mean, this is going to be a very interesting match because the obstacles are spread out almost in the, the, uh, this, the, the straight line on the right side and the left side. One of them, it looks like got away from them. I've got my coffee. It's beautiful, uh, you know, muggy Sunday morning and we're going to watch some X-Wing. I do have more matches recorded. Unfortunately, I don't, I'm, we're only going to be able to do two today, uh, you know. Best I can do, if there's ever that joke. Uh, we need we need four matches streamed today. Best I can do is two. Sorry. So, we hopefully you join here. And, uh, of course, the next match has four K-Wings in it. Again, recorded that from my co-host, Robert. Because that's all the man flies is four K-Wings. That's, uh, like, that's it. I wish I had more to say to that, but that's it. He flies four K-Wings. <laughs> It's just, he's one of those people. All right. So, as I said, we've got six bombers on the left. And we've got, oh, I got to label these as colors. Hold on. I can't start a match without colors. How will you know who's who? How will I know who's who? So, it looks like we've got pink to start. Favorite color of a marked ship, by the way. We should. I wish we'd see it every game, at least. No more red, blue, and yellow as default. I want pink, purple. If you are... Oh, look at that. I got to mute oh, that. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So of course, I did record their voices, but you're not going to hear them this match because that was for me to listen to. All right, we got brown, and then we got yellow and blue, and then we got to do the first order as well. All right. I'm not going to... You know what? We'll make, we'll make Kylo Ren a color. We'll make him like... We'll make him red. Even though he's not red. Yeah, whatever. And then we've got yellow and red. See, yellow and red. It's always yellow and red. I don't like those defaults. All right, then the per first order provocateur. There, I'll put Kylo back to white. There we go. All right, so the bombers. Ion missile, thread tracers, and thermals on pink. Same build on red. Ion torps and thermal detonators on green and brown and yellow. 
and finally blue as well. So it's just the thread tracers on the first two that are going to be popping off, getting a target lock for everyone else for those ion torpedoes. Let me tell you, aces don't like ion torpedoes. It just hinders their mobility, as it were. Uh, and we already have some first action. Wow, Tyafo's flying really straight out there as fast as possible. Uh, I'm guessing that they're going to stay in the middle and then turn away from the bombers and then just shoot out the back. That way they can keep their distance. Uh, I mean, this would be a really quick match if all of a sudden... These <laughs> This would be a really quick match if Finley all of a sudden decided to super joust these bombers. Highly recommend against it. Uh, why did I go to Twitch? What am I going to Twitch for? Uh, I don't know. My brain just goes in 10 different directions. I oh, I was going to grab the link and post it places. I don't know. If anyone's watching, uh, do me a favor. <laughs> grab the link and post it on uh, the Rex Beck X-Wing Miniatures page. Um... And read it if you can, because I'm in, I'm now I'm invested in this match here, because you don't see I, I mean I haven't seen a lot of bombers being played, uh and I mean Thai bombers there have been other bombers but nothing like this this is a very nice and unique list for the XTC I mean same thing goes for Finley I I haven't seen I, you have to take a faction or uh, you have to take one of each faction for your seven team list or seven person list for uh each country i mean kylo ren is a, i think a staple in almost every first order list and then it just varies out from there but i'm liking the six bombers that's pretty bold for the empire they do have a lot of other uh you know ha, i guess munitions in their arsenal No, and we're waiting on, I believe, the provocateur's actions. I don't know. Their hands are just on the table now. That's a good thing. I could fast forward past this <laughs> to speed things up. Because it, these are pre-recorded. Uh, just because, you know, I reached out to the XTC and I said, Hey, you've got some matches not being streamed. I can't stream them. Would you like me to record them and play them on a later date? So I picked Sunday and they said, Oh my God, absolutely, please. Other teams that were like, Oh my God, yes, please stream our match. The other thing is I just missed a match. I woke up like a half hour. Well, I'm not, I can't say late because I wasn't late. I never, you know saw the match, nor was I planning on streaming it, but Japan and Netherlands were having their final match, and they wanted someone to stream it, and I missed it by half hour or else I would have woken up and streamed it live then. But we've got our two matches set for today. And set. Oh, okay, looks like they're back to dials finally. Or we're waiting on the bombers to set their dials. I mean, this is a very interesting opening. I'm wondering if Finley's going to bank with the TIFOs just to keep his distance just a little bit. I mean, if he turns too quickly, he's not going to get shots. Those bombers can just fly straight. They don't have to follow the TIFOs. I mean, but... Uh, We'll see <laughs> what Mazaz does. He he literally could just hard turn to left and then pursue those TIFOs. It's going to be a very interesting decision marker right here because that rock to the just the just off the what is it the bow of the bombers is is definitely hindering their bank or turn to just eliminate these TIFOs right out of the gate. Even though they are are yeah are ion torpedoes say that three times fast uh they do one damage but i mean all of a sudden taking these tifos and uh, not tifos tisfs damn it uh and making them only do one straights they can't rotate arcs all they can do is focus 
and that means they literally can't use their munitions, which is what they really are known for. Okay, opting for the one forward, it looks like. For the entire squad. Ooh, barrel roll. Interesting. Yep, as backwards as possible, I'd do the same. You don't want to roll over that rock next turn. This is interesting. Pink barrel rolled. I Ooh, okay. Going for a target lock. Missed. That is a good option. Can easily do a bank next turn and clear that stress, maintaining a arc on those Thai SFs. And I'll say Thai SFs. Oh, delicious. Wife made me coffee today. Didn't even ask. Brought it right down to me. Okay, and then the rest of the bombers are banking in. Okay, splitting up the group. I mean, that's kind of a wide net to cast. You've got pink and brown kind of pushing their arcs to the right a little bit. Then the other four pushing their arcs to the left a little bit. If these Tyus have decided to come in for whatever reason, which... That's why I'm thinking that he either banked or turned. Yep, there's the hard turn to the right. Perfect. Well, they're right. And I'm guessing they're going to... Oh, well, he knows that the lock isn't going to make it. But it's not going to stress him out either. There'd be no reason why you shouldn't lock and rotate. Spawning some cards a little late there. Oh, okay, he's just getting the dials for those ships. Which is something you can do in TTS. It's really neat. Instead of going to look them up online, you can spawn some cards, drop them on a car, drop them on a ship, and it gives you that, the actual maneuvers of those ships. Yep, there's the turn from the other one. Going to rotate his arc backwards as well. I think he's trying to figure out how to do that. <laughs> it is fun listening to them talk about how to do stuff in TTS. And there's multiple ways to do it. You can either right-click on your ship and then choose the rotate arc action. You can choose the dial and rotate it that way. I believe there's another way to do it. You can even spawn other items that'll just, you click it and it rotates it. I mean, again, I think we say this every stream, you know, hats off to the mods that make all of this possible, especially during the pandemic. <laughs> and of course, oh, I tried to record a match where I had a top view down, but um, I mean, I could have re recorded it that way. But the list that was playing was six of the Thai X1s advanced. I don't have six. I only have four. And I was going to actually have live ships on the table. One day, one day I'll have all the ships, all the things. Ooh. Yep, there's the net. Caught him just a little bit. And I believe red has the thread tracers. So, Garen, well, I you ignore the range restrictions, if I'm not mistaken, on those thread tracers. Or is he doing primary? Yep, he is doing the thread tracers. Because I believe it is ignoring range restrictions. That limits red's dice down to two. And two hits, pretty good. Uh, I don't think red has any sort of focus, so that's going to hit. And, you know, give the whole squad a beautiful target lock. Yep, bomber. We've got the red tracers. And that is... Actually, I could spawn the card. I forgot about that. Hold on. 
Let me see if I can spawn that card. And do this. Uh, thread tracers. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Can we do... Where Do I have that checked? Upgrade cards. Yeah. Uh, is it up? No. Uh, I forgot what button it is. Also, I forgot to start the clock, as usual. Classic me. There's a button to show the cards. I can't remember what it was. That one. I have cards turned on. That's so weird. Oh, cards and dials. Okay, there we go. So, thread tracers. <laughs> Better late than never. Uh, and I don't even think you guys can read that. Eh, look at that. A futile effort. Cards and dials. I'll just read it. Uh, spend one charge if this attack hits. Each friendly ship at range 1 to 3 the defender may acquire. A lock on the defender. Then cancel all dice results. So, oh, maybe... Okay, I don't know how he shot at yellow, but it looks like he target locked yellow. Maybe I just missed it. I wasn't paying attention to the screen. He probably shot with... Oh, maybe he did have him in range. But anyways, they only three of them were able to lock yellow because they were the only ones in range. I thought it ignored range restrictions, but I guess not. I'm glad it doesn't. Because th that would be very cheeky. You just fly the smaller, the cheapest ship up if you lock it with everyone else. Ignoring range restrictions. That'd be pretty broken. I right, do not want to spill my coffee. Especially on my desk. Okay. There we go. Lithuania versus Scotland. Group. I expect X with miniatures. I'm just posting the link. I'm doing my diligence here. Told you, you know, if you want to be a big streamer, you got to share the link. Okay. Waiting on the bombers to set their dials. There's only, uh, you know, it's only six ships on the table. So, with pink, I mean, a bank one might get you in range of yellow. It really depends on what Finley wants to do with these Thai SFs. If he's just going to do a one forward and then shoot out the back, but, I mean, these bombers can scream over that rock, and then still thread tracers and have everything shoot with their munitions at the same time. Uh, I hope he doesn't split up the group, because that's always a bad idea with swarms. You don't want to bank towards Kylo and then bank the other two towards the TIE SFs, because then that's just a waste of ships, honestly. Uh, but they do have bombs, so they could pursue these TIE SFs, Kylo could try to flank uh, or get into their, you know, flank is always in the side or rear, but if he tries to get into their rear, those bombers can drop bombs at banks, at straights, and make an ace turn into a pile of pudding. And then this provocateur... It's very interesting. He does have munitions. Or he doesn't have any, He has Daredevil. Which is something you, you do see on them, but... I mean, I, everything on this list is very thin. I mean, Kylo with nothing on him. Not even... 
extreme maneuvers. Just it limits him in a way that you really don't want, but. Here we go. There's the two bank out of pink. Definitely going to be pursuing yellow. Uh, I'd, I'd barrel roll here. I wouldn't take the focus because this tie SF. It can just do a one straight barrel roll and then it's out of pink's arc, but it looks like he's double, you know, he's going to double down. He's expecting to have yellow in arc. And it'd be, you know, be very bold of Finley just all of a sudden do a four straight with both of them. And make them follow. There we go. Casting a little bit wider than that with brown. Doing the barrel roll. Feeling the flow. Okay, going for the middle there. I gotta have make sure I have Facebook up. Only because my co-host, <laughs> not the most technical person, he sometimes can't get into the Discord room and I have to help him. Yep, here's the three straights. I mean, I I really do like Huzaz and the way that he's moving these bombers. I mean, when you fly against other swarms, most of the time they love to stick perfectly together and in perfect formation. But he's kind of staggering them. And I mean, honestly, it's pretty thematic because they're just circling around this asteroid, pursuing these TIE SFs, and not hitting the rock, fitting perfectly, moving bombers out of the way that need to move. And then just, he's going to be fitting perfectly in these rocks. And that's the thing. I, you could ask anyone either way. I mean, you don't want to pursue bombers into the rocks because then they can just bomb you. But you don't want to fly a swarm through the rocks all the time. I mean, you're looking for Bump City, but all of a sudden, if, and Findlay's doing this perfectly, he's flying his swarm out of the, out of the rocks. And then all of a sudden, these swarms can get stuck in the rocks. And then that limits their mobility. They can't turn in as well because half of them can, half of them can't. Bumps, and it's it's just a big mess for for swarm players sometimes. So, it's it's up in the air. Sometimes you do, sometimes you do, or sometimes you don't. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Okay, Kylo Ren opting to turn in the, <laughs> which is a good idea. If those bombers all of a sudden decided to joust him, they would definitely catch him real quick. So they've. I mean, they still haven't really dedicated which target to go after. Because with that nice little straight and then banks. If Kylo Ren decides to do another one hard and barrel roll. Again, these bombers could turn in on him. Or have the option to. Alright, well, okay. Right out of the gate. Initiative 3 has the initiative. We've got two hits into brown. Double evades. That's, you hate to see it. I, mean, I I will speak frankly when it comes to two dice ships, or uh, two evade, you know, two defense dice ships at range three. And that's usually how that goes for me when shooting at one. If I was being shot at, I would have rolled the blanks. All right, ion torps coming out. Ooh, having to spend the lock. And hit, crit, crit. Of course, no crit damage because it is ions, but... Ooh, or, or only one damage. That's some good defense. Will not be ionized. And that one's out of brown, so let me take one off of him. Only has one torp left. And also, I know Red spent a Thread Tracer's last turn. No, I don't want the whole Thread Tracer's gone. There we go. All right. Pink, pink. And why does he have to be pink? Again, going with the Ion Torps. Really would love to eye on them, slow them down, keep them from escaping. Oop. Spending the lock. 
because I, this is the one where you don't want death by a thousand cuts. Hey, oh my goodness, crits through the roof. And there it is. So blanks out. That's going to be one shield, one ion onto yellow. And he is not going anywhere. Oh, see, why did he get rid of the thread? Oh, wait, did he? Yeah, he didn't thread tracers. He ioned him. <laughs> that would have been funny. And that's one from him. All right. Yeah, ion missiles from pink there. So does Brown have? Did he forget? I think he only rolled three dice with Brown. Oh, maybe I have them set up. Oh, okay. Maybe I have them wrong. Maybe Brown is the one that has ions. I'll have to fix that real quick. Hold on. So we'll make uh, Brown. Yeah, ion missiles. We'll make you Brown because you had ion missiles. Oh, and firing back with the ions. Oh, it looks like he is going to, or not ions with the concussion missiles. Yep, into pink, the lead guy. Which it looks like it already took some damage as well. And should be a crit. And I think he's debating whether or not he can flip them up. He, yeah, okay. And he's flipping over that one. And flipping over that one? Oh, oh no. Okay. I was like, why is he flipping over two? All right. And then here comes the other crit. So it looks like maybe Pink had damage on him earlier. Ooh, and he's got structural damage. All right. And next shot. Ooh, hit, hit, crit into Pink. Only getting one evade. Yep, and they're going to debate which card to flip over again. It's fun reading the cards. <laughs> Yep, because they're debating how it triggers and, you know, how many cards to deal and when, or what triggers when. All right. I believe that is... Oh, looks like, I believe, Stun Pilot. And another one, Damage Sensor Array. Oh no, dis I think that's disabled power on or uh, let's see what that crit is. Uh I believe that's damage sensor array. Can only focus. I mean he is just piling on the crits. And I think that's loose stabilizer. He only can fly straight next turn as well. But he does survive with one health. All right, we're going to make this guy brown. I know I remember I was doing this. All right, this guy's brown. And this guy is going to be yellow. There we go. And he got rid of a missile. He got rid of a torp. At least I hope. All right, so not the best starting turn for the Bombers. Pink is now down to one health, has less, <laughs> oh, what is it, fewer? I think it's fewer agility dice. Uh, has to go straight or he's going to explode, and he can now only perform focuses. So even if he wants to get off that torp, I mean, uh, Thread Tracers will work, but he's going to have to waste a shot with Thread Tracers. I shouldn't say waste, that's not a good... It's not a good stance, but I mean, 
now these bombers are not in the best of way. But yellow is ionized for the tie SF. So he can come in there. He can do probably a four straight with brown, three bank with green. He can fly straight with pink. Uh, but uh, I don't know. That's going to be iffy. If the Provocateur or Kylo have a shot on pink, he's probably going to eat it before he gets a chance to shoot. Uh, but if he can't, then that means pink is definitely going to be able to fire off at least one more munitions before, you know, eating it. I mean, but he only has ion torps and ion missiles, so the chances of taking out yellow, the TIE SF, in the process is going to be very difficult. I don't know. In this case, I think I would I would fly rather slowly with the bombers. Don't want to go all in on that TIE SF. Just do your 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 maybe two straights, your two banks, and then just try to plug away at him. He is down two shields, so you need four damage left. Maybe even try to do a couple of primary shots instead of the missiles, but... And then you still have basically... I mean, basically there are two aces. you got Kylo and you've got the Provocateur. Provocateur's I3, so that yeah, he is an ace in this match. He moves after the Thai Bombers. You have still two aces out there that can easily just turn in. And start plugging away at these bombers. Alright, we're going to put the coffee down. Getting jittery all of a sudden. Normally don't drink coffee. And my wife gave me an awfully large cup of it. All right, waiting on a few more dials here. Yeah, so blue has ion torpedoes, and green has, or, yeah, ion torpedoes. Okay, so let's switch them up. So blue has ion torpedoes. Yellow has ion missiles. And thread tracers. So let's... So how many does he have? Okay, threat tracers. Oh, I guess red doesn't have them. This is supposed to be yellow. Okay, and then pink has the threat tracers. Oh no, red has threat tracers too. So does pink not have threat tracers? I guess not. All right, we'll make him red then. Just fixing some things here. Six, and then we'll make this guy pink down here. A little lighter. A little lighter. There we go. Yep, there's... Oh, he is going all in. Four straights. Thought he'd be a little more reserved, but nope. He needs that thing off the board as fast as possible. And this guy has the damage sensor array. Yep, he took the focus. He's got structural damage, and he's got the loose stabilizer as well. So, yowzers. Yeah, there's the three banks. So, probably going to be doing some primaries this turn. He is focused up for defense. Probably going to launch a threat tracers, just so that everything can have a target lock and almost guarantee yellow is gone this turn. And, you know, he... Mm -hmm. I'm assuming if he, because he flew fast, he's going to anticipate dropping bombs next turn and getting rid of the Provocateur from behind him. But well, I'm not going to lie, Provocateurs are very nimble. He'd easily do the... I believe they have a one bank, if I'm not mistaken. And then just plug away at them. They can drop their bombs. He can then one hard turn out and not be affected. Meanwhile, guaranteeing that he takes out pink... Kylo now has the board. Depending on what maneuver he did, I mean, if he chose to do the hard or the uh, the two bank to the left or three bank, he can easily just boost in, 
focus up, take out Pink before he even has a chance to shoot. I mean, even if he did the one hard again, oh, that's going to be risky. He could, he could still barrel roll boost, even if he did the one hard again. Uh, it does look like he is, or the bombers are playing into Finley's hand. Uh, I don't know. It's too too early to tell on who has the advantage right now. Because I got to tell you, even though you might think, oh, well, the aces are just going to eat away at them, that's a lot of health to eat and chew through. Meanwhile, I mean... These uh, One of them can easily just turn in on one of these aces, focus up, thread tracers, the rest of them 4K, or, f you know, do the K turn, and then just completely engulf on these aces. All right, ah, ooh, opting to get right behind the bomber. I do like that positioning, because if, if you are dropping bombs, yellow would be the opportune one. You don't want brown to drop a bomb, because then you're chances of hitting red and yellow are very high unless you really go fast. Oh, okay, so that was the three hard in. Didn't bank. Hopefully he does a nice barrel roll after this target lock. And I didn't see, did he, did he have range on pink? Okay, yes he did. And that's the one with one health. I mean, <laughs> I'm thinking he was asking how many, how many health, which one has one health left? I don't know. The one with the crit tokens piled next to it. That would be that guy. Ooh, does get the rock. This is a, this end range three. These are the positions that you hate as an ace player. You have three dice. You do have the force, so it's going to be a target lock, 100%. And you just, oh, no, only re-rolling one. Ooh, bad. I don't like that. But does get the hit, hit, crit. With structural damage. Oh, maybe it's range two. So that would be the guaranteed kill. Uh, Scimitar Squadron is at range three. Ooh, I think he messed up on that. He should have gotten another die. He could have survived. Um, Yeah. Uh, oops. Oh well, board state affected. So I'm. I mean, I would. I should double check that, but we'll just say it was range two for funsies. But even with structural damage, it was through the rock. It was. Oh, and here comes range one into yellow. All right, one evade. So that puts two damage into yellow. And that's what I'm talking about. Not even half points yet on yellow. You had a range one attack. It's just, it's so much health, and you really need crits to push through. But as you can tell, even with all the crits pushed onto pink, like, he was still a fully effective bomber. Could still shoot munitions if uh, the thread tracers got off, and still able to drop bombs. Nothing affecting him there. He just had to fly straight, which <laughs> most times the bombers, that's all they do. All right, so it looks like yellow is thread tracing, since we have that up correct now. No, stop, stop doing that. Okay, and he's only spent one on that one. I believe red is down to thread tracers. So hit crit and opting to spend that. Uh, <laughs> do you spend the focus on this? I mean, you 100% you should. You do not want your entire squad, or have an entire squad target locking you. So he evades the thread tracers. But, I mean, there's still more. Red has a thread, or Red spent both of his thread tracers. So get rid of those. Red can still fire... His ion missiles. Oh, okay. What happened there? I guess he... 
Oh, I am not certain. Okay, maybe he didn't spend the focus. Interesting. Okay, well, the Thread Tracer's hit. Uh, which means, yeah, everyone gets a target lock. Here comes some Ion Torps. These are my one of my favorite cards because they're rarely taken. And it's so effective with four dice. And they're relatively cheap. Oh, yep, he does have the focus, so he's going to spend the target lock and then the focus for three hits. That's a guaranteed damage, and he's going to be ionized once again. But, I mean, at this point, you don't want him ionized. You want him off the table. So, oh, he's still got three more shots left. Or is it going to be two... I think, yeah, I believe he still has three more shots left. So he needs three damage to get yellow off the table. Then he can start focusing in possibly on these aces. But he only has one more thread tracers left for the entire list. Okay, opting to go primary. Yep, can spend the lock. This is pretty risky. Oh, blanks. Here we go. Two dice. Uh, and we've got one evade, so safe. I believe uh, Blue only has one more eye on Torps, and he was saving it. Okay, so there's the hit, and the f two hits because of the focus. Oh, maybe not. Is he going to spend the lock instead? Uh, I mean... Because you do have yellow that is hurting. Okay, he's spending the focus. The reason he hesitated there is because yellow does have three damage cards on him. Ooh, double blanks. That's what you really needed. Shuffles his deck. That's two more into yellow. That's what you didn't want. Uh, because yellow has three damage cards face down. Um, if he, in fact, hits brown, that means he can flip a damage on yellow up due to the concussion missiles, but I don't think really that focus is going to save him from that. It's either going to hit or it's not. So, oh, okay. Uh, going with the two dice primary because he couldn't use the... Uh, yep, so there is one damage <laughs> out of the primary into brown. Uh, I forgot he couldn't do his passive sensors because of uh, the ion. So here comes Brown with one damage now. And there's red. Primary as well. Only one hit and one evade. So safe. Yikes. Uh, I mean, you really wanted yellow gone, but he is doing another one forward. Can only focus. So those concussion missiles are basically useless. I forgot he was he because of the ionization, and I, I that's what I believe they were debating earlier. He goes, "Oh, you can't passive sensors, you can't hurt yellow." All right. So for those of you watching, or even uh, because we are going to post this to YouTube later, uh, you can do exclamation point sling paint and get our link to our YouTube channel one of our two YouTube channels. What do you think the bombers should do here? Do you think, you know, one of them pursues yellow and finishes him off? Uh, should he send two just in case? Because you hate it when you send one guy to do a job and he fails at it hard. Uh, should he pursue red? Or is this when you drop bombs, K-turn, and then just go after these aces? Because... I mean, red is in an okay spot for the tie SF. He can just do a one forward and target lock if he's in range and continue to shoot at the back. But eventually he's going to have to bank or turn. And yellow, he is the same initiative. He is going to get to shoot at the same time as these bombers. But no concussion missiles can only take a focus. 
So he's got that two dice primary, which is dangerous for the bombers because, again, you don't want to fly too close to yellow, which ironically is the color of the sun, um, and then kill him while getting three dice back in the process because that's the tricky part. When you know that a ship is going to die, and there's nothing you can do. Um, you keep the focus for when it has to fire back. So even though a bomber might be able to kill yellow, all of a sudden it can just keep the focus for offense and then boom. That's when a bomber starts taking super damage that it didn't need to. And of course these bombers still have munitions. So you can always hang back, do a one forward with, with Brown, shoot off uh, an ion missile and try to finish the job long distance. <laughs> Thank you, Darth Wombat. Yeah, so, I mean, we're only streaming two games. This one, it looks how much time is left. I, I mean, 45 minutes probably. Yeah, 40 minutes left in this match. So, trust me, there is still another two hours of X-Wing to be had. Oh, and this is even more of a dangerous spot, because... If it was me, I'd be contemplating bumping yellow of the bombers. That way the provocateur might slam into the back of me uh, <laughs> and keep him from doing stuff. But that's another thing. Like, this provocateur, he's in a provocative situation. Ha, ha, ha. That's right. Unsubscribe button or unfollow button is down below. Um, do you keep going after these bombers and hope they don't sacrificially bomb themselves and you? Or do you turn away and possibly get bombed? Because he could easily do a one hard left, one hard right with Daredevil. But uh, th this is the part that I love about bombers. You have no idea. So green could drop one bomb out the right with a bank. Because it is a thermal debt. He could do that twice because it's thermal detonators. So if Kylo decides to pursue, that's a big, big tunnel to try and dodge. Brown Bomber could drop one out the left as well with the bank and do it twice and nail Halo. Meanwhile, the Bombers could go slow. They could K-turn. They could do a lot of different things. I'll watch the end of this one. Yeah, there you go. I mean, Robert's supposed to be in here with me. I literally told him, hey, by the way, our first match is going to be Bombers, and our second match is going to be 4K Wings. He goes, oh, my God, thank you, I'm there. <laughs> he asleep. <laughs> and look at that. It's not even 7 in the morning yet. And after this match, I'm going to go let out the, the chickens, feed the goats. So, unfortunately, it's been nothing but rain here for the last three to four days. My pool is definitely full. And my fish pond is overflowing. All right, it looks like they're still having debates on what has damage, what has munitions left. Because I'm not going to lie, look at those bombers. There is a lot of charges not flipped on that table. <laughs> and he's going to have to pursue yellow with these aces. Alright, looks like, I can't see Brown's dial, but that might be the last one. And he's just checking his dials. Uh, Finley is set. And he's debating the bombs. There it is, yellow, dropping the first one. I See, this is what I'm talking about. If all of a sudden yellow drops a bomb, and just, you know, brown and red move out of the way, yellow does a nice little one bank left or even bumps into brown, or red moves, then yellow moves, giving him a one forward, making the provocateur bump. And by the way, love those bomb templates. That is literally a, a bomb template and then a thermal detonator floating above it and spinning. Ooh, is he going? Okay, red's also dropping. This is, this is really what gets Robert and I excited. Bombs. Because it is, I mean, it is a hard strategy to pull off. 
and it really stinks when you hit yourself. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Don't pay attention to how that uh, bomb template was put. It looks like it was coming out of the side of red, but it was just a, a funny glitch. So it looks like brown is also dropping to the left. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. That is a big bubble for the provocateur to get out of. Uh, the, his options are very limited. Yep, so there's Brown's move first. Taking the focus. It looks like he is being sent to finish off yellow. And also green. Taking the two straight. Blue with the two straight. Ooh, this is interesting. Is red and yellow going to turn in on Kylo? Yes, they are. All right. Brown, you got a barrel roll. Or red, you got a barrel roll, buddy. You could do it. You could barrel roll target lock. They have the option. Yep, moving the target lock over, not getting out of the way. That is bold, sir. And yellow. See, there you go. The sacrificial. Deciding to bomb himself for the greater good. Yep, and it looks like... Okay, taking the focus instead. Even though I believe red is out of thread tracers. Of course, the solid one straight from yellow. Only taking the focus. Yep, red banking away. Uh, he's just taking the lock. Uh, he might have brown in arc. It might be, because I don't think these things can barrel roll. They can only link everything to rotating their arc. And there's no point in advanced sensors either. Because the bombers have the initiative. Yep, taking the strain. I mean, he's got to get out of there. No, he's going to take three bombs? <laughs> Come on, he's got a boost. Boost, man. There you go. Maybe taking two. But even then, that is... Uh, you don't want to be strained. And you don't want to take damage on him as well. Uh, there's Kylo. That, again, super close to that bomb. But it, he might be jousting. He is put, He has his finger over the boost, people. <laughs> he is debating it. You could target lock boost, but, I mean, the chances of... Oh, jeez, that, that is very risky. I mean, that's the other thing. Yellow has thread tracers on him, has ion missiles... He is now range two. Red probably range two. And then there's a big fat bomb sitting right there. This is beautiful defensive play by Wazaz. I mean, look at those bombs just literally creating a shield for him. Because if he didn't drop that bomb, Kylo 100% would be boosting in, wiping yellow off the table, letting red do his primary. Uh, but even next turn is going to be so dangerous for uh, Finley. Because now he's got the bombers facing different directions. They can bank drop bombs at range 1 and 2. And he can basically just create a wall of bombs for these aces to just run over. And especially if this thermal detonator all of a sudden makes Kylo strained. That is not what you need. Alright, so yep. Target locking yellow. It is only three ice primary into two defense dice. So his odds of destroying yellow are going to be so low. Even with that target lock and the force. Oh, love it. That is some good animation there. First bomb misses. That's okay. That was an in, in case he... Oh, first one misses yellow. Nails the provocateur. And boom. That's one damage. Next one, again, misses all the bombers. Oh, a crit! It's just, Hill, Hill still hits the shields, but guess what? That's half. And that's the points you need. Half points on that ace. Now, all of a sudden, the bombers are in the lead, 42-32. All right, so the sacrificial bomb doesn't do anything to Kylo. 
this is where if yellow gets strained, that's a problem. Uh, so we've got one damage into red. You really don't want to damage into yellow either, because then that would all of a sudden give Kylo a huge statistical advantage. Oh no, the strain instead! That's not what you need. All right, Kylo's chances <laughs> have just gone up dramatically to kill yellow before he has a chance to shoot. And here we go. Range one into red, but obviously yellow is your target. Range two, yellow only getting one defense dice. I mean, this is like a 95% chance, I believe, of... Ooh, and there it is with the crits. Spends the force for hit, crit, crit. Guaranteed hit and crit are going through. He needs paint. And he doesn't get it. Oh, that helped. I'm sorry, I had him at four health, but I'm pretty sure he is Kaplawi. Yep. Two crits. They don't matter. They just go right into the pile, and yellow is removed before he gets a chance to shoot. That's big. That's one less munition. Look at all those charge tokens still there. The red tracers, torpedoes, and bombs. That didn't get a chance. All right. So... Not going into green, opting for brown at range two, because he has some target locked. And oof, the dice are really worried. Oh, no, the reroll did not help, but still, hit crit. And brown has an opportunity to spend it, take one crit, or is he going to let the damage flow? I mean, at this point, brown has a target lock on yellow. I would spend it. You really need to... Reserve. Yeah, there you go. So one crit into brown. You want to reserve as much health as possible now because your your opportunity to get yellow off the table. Ooh, it looks like wounded pilot. So he can't even spend that focus even if he wanted to. And down to four health. So that was a good call not to or to spend that focus. Because it wouldn't have helped him on offense anyways. But now he doesn't have a target lock either. Okay, so he's opting to spend the munitions. He can. He just can't spend that lock to modify his dice. I think that's a good idea. Maximize your damage. There's two. He, yellow's going to need the perfect roll. Lots of paint. Ah, thank you for following, Average Joe. It's off the table, but it's only one of aid. Yellow is dead, still stays on the table to shoot. But, I mean, there it is, 62-66. This, <laughs> this is a crazy nail-biter. Ooh, range one with red. Still has his focus. E only one crit. Chances of hurting a force user, not good. There it is. He even had the focus for good measure. So one evade, he's safe. And here comes yellow. Did he sh Oh, yeah, he's not going to shoot with green because... I mean, I would have shot with green. You could have put another crit through that could have, you know, lowered his chances of damaging. Ooh, that is a missed opportunity. If you would have pushed a crit through, it could have been weapons failure... Or, you know, Wounded Pilot to where he couldn't spend his focus for defense. Or offense, rather. So there you go. One damage into Brown, it looks like. And now, boom. Points jump up. 82-62. 20-point lead. <laughs> yeah, right from the get-go. One crit chain from... Yeah, a disaster. I don't know. I never buy into the you need shields. There are those times to where you take that crit and you hate it. Ooh, hit, hit, crit. One defense. What's the crit? Oh, there we go. Now he's dealing it. <laughs> Don't pick up the whole deck. So that was into brown. It might be Browns off the table. It looked like a direct hit. Oh, that's the good turn of the tide. So Brown completely off the table. 
three bombers versus two aces and a tie SF with still one missile left and three she basically full health tie SF. But he is in a weird position. He's probably going to have to sloop this turn to get back into the fight quick to help out his friends. Uh, and then yeesh. This is, a, I think that was a great turn for the Bombers, except, I mean, just the, the offensive dice were critical against him. And then uh, losing yellow, losing brown, that was just a big swing for Finley. And now I don't think he's going to do any more sacrificial bombing. Uh, I mean, blue and green do have that opportunity. They could bomb Kylo, but now with the lead... You've got the Provocateur in somewhat of a good position. I mean, you could just five straight with Kylo, boost away, and start thinking about the long game here. You don't think it'll go to time? I, see, that's the thing. I think it'll go to time. Because, I mean, there's still... Uh, I think everything has full health except for red. Yeah, so I, that's the thing. Uh, Finley has a choice to make. Does he, you know, start picking away at these guys, making them dance, making them pick a target, and then ducking that target out of the arc, and then just make sure you get a little... I mean, honestly, you want to get half points on, like, two of those bombers, maybe even remove one of them to give yourself a nice points cushion, but... Losing the Provocateur, which would give him another 22 points. It wouldn't give him the lead, so, I mean, you also don't want to all of a sudden take half points on Kylo. Uh, you, you really want to pick away at these bombers. You don't want to go all in and try to table them, because that's when all of a sudden you realize, oh, my ace bumped is getting bombed twice and is getting shot at, and then there you go, half points. And then you're working towards the clock again. But, I mean, if if anyone were to ask, who do you think is going to win this match? It's it's going to be Finley with his tie, with his first order. It all depends on what mistakes he's willing to accept <laughs> or make. Yeah, see, I drop some more bombs. That, like, if all of a sudden, you know... Brown survived or yellow survived. You've got more, you know, ships that could bump Kylo. I mean, personally, Kylo, five straight, get out of get out of dodge. There's no reason to keep him in the fight. Um, with the provocateur, these bombers are probably going to K turn green and blue. They need to. Uh you could literally just hard turn left with the provocateur and then daredevil right if they do that. And again, with the Tyus F, you just want to sloop. Because it, it, he's got three shields, three hull. He can easily come around and start knocking down these, these tie bombers. And again, if you get one of them or half on both, then basically that's that's your game right there. You've, you've sealed your win. Because it's only a difference of 30... Uh, I can do math. 36 points. Which again, <laughs> 36 points, that's half Kylo, or you could take out another Zeta. All right, don't pay attention to that bomb marker. For some reason, this game loves to glitch out. There we go. All right, so blocking the path of Kylo. But honestly, a five straight barrel roll boost is easily going to get out of that bomb range. Yep. I would suspect green is doing the same. Oh, red's going to drop some as well. And that was blue that dropped some. He dropped two. Okay, red dropping both. So red has one thermo left. Oh, 
Oh, I think red dropped. No, yeah, red has one left still. And then I wouldn't waste him with green because honestly, I mean, again, all of a sudden if Finley goes, yeah, Leroy Jenkins, and then just two hards with Kylo Wright for whatever reason. <laughs> it could happen. I've seen it happen. But these are top tier players. I don't foresee it. Ooh, okay. Bumps with red. That's interesting. Now red's going to be hit by his own, or not his own bomb, but green's bomb. There's the K turns from blue and green. One with a 3k turn. That's a, I, You know what? That's a better idea. Because then if all of a sudden, again, if the provocateur goes, you know what? I've got this. And just does a two straight. That's more bombs right in his face. Oh, no, he did it. He did the two straight. There's the five straight from Kylo. I mean, honestly, do the, the boost to the right and then barrel left should be fine. I Ooh. Okay, still fine. And he's still going to barrel roll and stress himself out, which, again, that's perfect. I doubt blue has a, sh blue has a shot. Ooh, I, ooh, we got red once already. Here we go. One hit onto red already. That's not good. You don't want half points to be given out, so he's down to four. There's the next one. I don't know. I know people turn on the measure like just to make sure, but if one was close, <laughs> oh no, another damage into red. And that is half on red. Don't worry, he just he can make up those points later. But this is now two bombs into the provocateur. He's already taken two damage. There's a strain. And another damage into into the provocateur. This is so not what you want. If the provocateur eats it, uh, 115 to 62. If he takes out the provocateur and even the Zeta, I don't think that's enough points. That's going to be 22 plus another 40, which would be 62. Yeah, 104. So even then, he would need to take out the Zeta and half points Kylo. Or, again, he can just chase down Kylo and, and half points him. Because that would mean... 38 points. Yeah, so never mind. He's got to kill the Zeta and half Kylo for this victory. All right, so looks like one damage into green. That's actually really good for the bombers. <laughs> Much self explosive. Yeah. Now, green, this is big. If he can eliminate this provocateur. No mods, but guess what? Strain token on the table. He needs natties. Can he do it? No. Beautifully played. I mean, honestly, that's the first actual shot at the provocateur and the first damage. Everything else was bombs. And he even got a whole breach at the end. For shame. Uh, bomber shooting into the Zeta. Evaded nicely. All right. Uh, it's going to be a two dice primary out the front. Oh, no. Wrong arc. <laughs> he still gets the two dice out of the... F oh, no. He doesn't have the... I think he forgot to rotate his arc. Ooh. Okay. That's actually pretty nice. He forgot to rotate his arc, which he could have done for free. Oh, is he letting him rotate it? Judge? <laughs> BXTC. I'm not. Well, I can't interfere because this is a recorded match, but uh, he's going to spend the lock. That's nice. That's nice of uh, was as to let him rotate it. Three hits. Beautiful. Red with one evade. So red taking two more damage. Ooh, uh, oh, yeah, Concussion Missile. One of those crits flips up. I'm glad they remember. Ooh, little damaged engine. It's okay. <laughs> I don't think he was going to hard turn next turn anyways. 
Mm. This is where it gets very, very interesting. We've got 15 minutes to play. I mean, I'm expecting a hard turn from red. All right, a hard turn from red. I'm expecting a K turn from red. Uh, little 5K, you know, keep them in play. Uh, green and blue, we're going to probably go in, all in on this red ace. To pursue Kylo would be, uh, at this point, not good. Uh, Kylo's going to probably do the, the two bank. I mean, he could two hard right. Try to circle back on these bombers. Uh, I mean, at this point, all focus should be on this Zeta. Try to get him off the table. And then, by some miracle, if you half points Kylo without losing any more bombers, this game should be yours. <laughs> Uh, right now, 115 to 83. That's pretty big. Well, actually, no. Another 40 points would be 120. But I, he can't lose any more bombers, basically. You don't ignore missed opportunities at this level. I See, this is the fun part about the XTC. It is community run. It is not official. Um, there are definitely rules. Uh, bef like when I if I were to stream this match live, I have to put a 90 second delay, and no one is allowed to interfere with that match. Nobody can pop in and be like, "Hey, you forgot about this." And even as the streamer, uh, we can't interfere with the match. It is run by the players on the table. They can always call for a judge for you know interpretations to the rules uh, or to make a ruling. But other than that, no interference. And it, it lets the players play. This is, you know, of course, it's bragging rights uh, for the country to say, ha, ha, ha. You know, we're the best country in the world when it comes to X-Wing. But this is, like, pure fun. If you were to listen to these matches, which, I mean, you always can. You can go join the XTC Discord server. Um, you can, I mean, ugh, maybe jump into a match. I mean, all of these matches, like, mostly are going to be streamed anyways. Uh, and, you know, you're not allowed to really listen to the players. But if, if you were to jump into the Discord channel and listen to them, trust me, it is nothing but laughter and love most of the time. You know, when somebody makes a bad decision, you can definitely feel the self-loathing and hatred towards themselves. <laughs> because they can't believe they do some boneheaded maneuvers or options. And, you know, there's, you know, oh, you know, it's okay, man. You know, it happens. It's like, no, I practice this. This is my mistake. And <laughs> listening to them is very entertaining. Because it's not, oh, two hards into red for the bump. Yeah, Kylo two banking away, reserving those points. Okay, doing the barrel roll. Probably, seeing as how he knows the board, he's not going to boost. He can easily just one hard and come back in if he decides to. Yep, no shots with green or blue, or red for that matter. I don't know. I don't know if bumping with red was the right decision. I mean, I don't even know if he knew Red was going to do the K-turn either. Um, but it's uh, keeping him out of battle or out of shots for just a little bit longer. So now Red can come to this corner. The Bomber's going to have to choose their target, either the Zeta or Kylo. Obviously, the Zeta is the correct choice because you, you could finish off Zeta and then not lose another Bomber by some miracle of whatever miracles and take the lead, but... I mean, all he has to do is just wait for these bombers to choose the Zeta. Kylo can come in and, again, remove another bomber, half points, and probably not take any damage. And then he seals his victory. Yeah, Red's pointing the wrong way. <laughs> but that's the other thing. Red has one more bomb. <laughs> He's got that bomb. He could drop it. And then he could just do, you know, a two straight. At this point, I think the three... Yep, there's the bomb. He needs a three straight, though. He needs to get out of the arc of red, because red's just going to finish him off. The TIE SF. 
There we go. Yeah, because uh, I think a two bank or probably a three bank to the right. Oh, he's going after Kylo. That's a bold move, sir. I mean, you, you can't half points Kylo and expect to win. Because that would only put you another, what, 26 or no, 24 points up? Oh, no, 38 points. So uh, maybe half on him, 38 plus 83. But it, it's a it's a force user. <laughs> 38 plus. Yeah, so I you would take the lead, but you would not have you cannot take any more damage anywhere. You can't take half points on a bomber, and you can't lose red, which chances are he is about to. It is through a rock, though. He has a good chance. So he can concussion missiles red, but oh, this is where it gets iffy. Because if if red if the TIE SF hits the bomber at all with that concussion missile he is definitely flipping oh is that off the table that's <laughs> that's off the table <laughs> there he goes he put it back uh he can f choose one of red's crits and then bam it could be a direct hit oh yeah uh, green get the heck out of here you can, it's not your turn to shoot yep so there it is range two through a rock can do the concussion missiles But if any of those go through. Okay, rolling the green dice. F yeah. Oh, he opted for primary. No concussions? Is he out of? Oh, he's out of concussions. <gasps> All right. Out of concussions. I did not see that. Did I mark it over here? Of course not. Why would I mark it over here for you guys? Out of concussions. Why is there two clocks? I don't know. There's eight minutes left. Yep, there's the bomb going off. They're doing things a little bit out of order. <laughs> yeah, three greens behind a force. Zeta is much better option. He really is, but... <laughs> this is a... And it, oh, Red's going to have to bank this turn. It's a funny thing, you know, you want to chase Kylo if you for some reason think, hey, if he shoots me and spends all of his force and, you know, maybe I can get him down to half. It is only two damage compared to the Zeta, which you'd need six. So I could see that logic. I could see where his mind is going. But again, you're right. Three defense, two force can take the focus as well and target lock something. And again... If he removes red off the table, which is the, the correct choice, the game is basically his. And you can even have the Zeta Ace hard two in, rotate its arc, and also chip away. Again, unless the dice go extremely bad for Finley, or if he makes the worst decisions ever, uh, it's basically his game. He just needs to get half on one of the TIE Bombers, if that's his only shot, or just remove red and that's it. Yep, choosing his moves carefully. I don't know what he's checking. Oh, okay. So that's what he's doing. So when you click the move on the template or on the maneuver dial on the, off to the side of it shows up the maneuvers and it, because his dials are so large, his maneuvers are also huge. So we can't see his maneuvers. <laughs> he was clicking that, and I was like, "Why is he? Fo why is he touching Red's dial?" It's because he's picking maneuver for green. All right. Uh, so you're out of range of the lock. I mean, opting for the barrel roll. I don't. Uh, I don't agree with that. But okay, taking the lock on Red. Stressing himself out. Uh, not a bad idea, but <laughs> I really would like a focus for defense. 
Oh, looks like he's changing his... Did he do a fake out? Did he make us think he was going for Kylo? And he's changing it to the Zeta. I mean, but this is... Yeah, there's the two hard from red. He's not in the arc of the bomber. He could easily just focus and rotate. Or, yeah, focus, rotate. That's how that works. Um, and not get shot by red. Try to pump some damage into green. I'm, he's probably deciding to barrel roll, but I, oof, that is a very, very thin margin to, to focus in. Yep, there's the one hard from Kylo. And he's just going to probably focus and boost. I mean, but as of right now, that's a pretty good spot for the Bombers. Red's not taking a shot this turn. Uh, blue, I think, is still at full health. So if Kylo wants to half him, he's going to have to pump three damage. Ooh, not opting for the boost? Okay. Just gonna... Oh, no, there he goes. Little delayed boost option. Yep, so that's gonna be a range two shot into blue. Nice three dice primary into two defense dice. But again... Yeah, spend the, spend the lock. Easy. And... There you go. Spend the force for three. And now you need some good paint here. There it is. I mean, you spend the focus 100%. You are not taking half damage and losing this game. So he takes one crit into green. Where is he moving that to? Oh, no, it's blue. Sorry. One crit into blue. And unfortunately, they moved it off the table. And they didn't drag it out there. So I'm not certain as to what crit it was. Okay. Red into a five dice Kylo. I can, I dream. And three of aids, easy. See, that's when my dice would just be, you know, nothing but blanks. All right, so doing the primary out of blue into red. Oh, two blanks. Yeah, no target lock. He took the focus this turn. Uh, now we've got green primary as well. Not opting for those ion torps. Spending the focus. And could spend the, fo the, the focus, but opting for two shields instead? Okay. Uh, he... Th thinks that, uh, I mean, this is that tricky part. Do you really think that focus is going to help the offense? Because now I think he's going to go into blue and try to score half. Alright, spends it for two hits. I've seen worse, but oh, okay, one more into blue. Still not a half, though. <laughs> he is just above the threshold. Yeah, thank you for stopping, uh, stopping in, Wombat. Also, Sean Tiernan from uh, the Hotak group. All right, so, I mean, dice are all over this table. We've got a very sticky situation. We have the TIE SF now down to four health. It is double locked by green and red. So, I mean, red could do the another 5k this turn. But you have Kylo circling that nest. I mean, blue. <laughs> blue can't lose that last remaining health for half points. Red has only one health left. If you lose him, it's basically over. And who's got bombs left? That's a very good question. Let's see. Green has some bombs. Blue has some bombs. So you can probably expect those to come out. You know, a little little uh, bombage on Kylo. Maybe drop his shields down. Give him some strain. And that's what's great. Green could drop two, as could blue. Blue. 
I don't know if Kylo's going to want to stick it out here. He might too hard out. But he really, he needs to, <laughs> he needs that half points. Or he needs red gone to really secure that win. And if it, I mean, it, for me, I would be three banking left with red. Or even possible with uh, the ties F. Or you can, you could try to run him into the bombers. Take one less shot. Jam him up from shooting. And also getting actions. And then Kylo could come and sneak in behind. But that's risky. Especially since bombs are active. Oh. This guy. This wannabe famous guy. Coming into my chat. Every single stream. By followers. You're out of your mind, dude. Hold on one sec here. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh, I don't want to be in the manager. I just want to be here. <laughs> you, you. I want you out of my chat forever. Yeah, block him. Report him. Uh, where is it? Spam. You spammer. I think it's a bot account, too. Could you provide more details? Oh, I guess they ended the match. <laughs> what happened? They disconnected. Oh, that was time. I didn't even notice because I was so focused on this damn thing. All right. Uh, he is asking me to buy views. There you go. Submit report. Good. Go on. Why is it time them out, though? It should be allowing you to time them out. And then let me bring over stream. Bear with me. I want to make sure I deal with this guy. Oh, his account suspended. <laughs> yep, account suspended. Easy. Done. Goodbye. All right. So that was the match. Time ran out. I didn't notice because I was dealing with this nonsense streamer. Uh, let's go back to here. Hello, everyone. Okay. So I'm going to let this <clears throat> continue to go. Excuse me. One moment. I'm going to continue to let this run. Uh, we will be right back. We're going to stream one more match for the morning. Uh, we do. I have uh, two more matches to go, but I can't stream for that long, which is why I record these and play them later. Uh, so, again, awesome match. Uh, Finley and... Uh, oh, jeez. What was... Hold on. Now I'm embarrassed. And uh, was as uh, amazing match. Very close. 83 to 115. Uh I mean, if only he had a little more time. It would have been a miracle, but <laughs> he just needed a little more time. <laughs> he could have pulled it off. So we're going to come up with our next match in just a bit. I got to go feed my goats, let the chickens out. Um, so we're going to jump into match, uh, the next match, which is Japan versus, uh, oh my God, I'm blanking on that too. Uh, let's bring it up. That way my memory, I don't have to do my memory. That's just easier. And we go split screens. There we go. We go to idle screen. Let's bring up the next match. There we go. Netherlands. Netherlands, everybody. Um, and it's going to be six. Count it. Six. That's seven. Six Thai advanced X. Or no, V1s. Let me double check on that, too. We're, we're amazing over here at Recon Specialist TV. We've got the, the Thai advanced V1s. I was correct. Six advanced V1s and four K-Wings. Robert, wake up. Get in here. I need you as, a, as an announcer for this next match because this is your this is you. Four K-Wings. Um, so, very excited. I'll be right back. Don't go away. <laughs> 